Uh, this is the cemetery of kids. This is where all the children are buried at. See them? Okay, I get it. You know how much far I went in Peru to find a monkey? I'm not sure how much I could do with this because now the sun is starting to pound on me. So right now, it is about 8.49. I know my watch says seven, but it's eight. And I'm approaching the beautiful country of Dominican Republic. <clears throat> and I gotta say, it looks a lot more beautiful than how it looked like when I came in on Puerto Rico. There's someone in the water fishing right now. Let's see if you can see him. I saw him, he stuck his head out. There he is. See him? I think he had a spear or something. So I just spoke to the guy to see if we could get access into a cemetery. My family was like, yo, why do you want to go check out a cemetery? I was like, it's, it's me, it's what, it's what I do. I want to check the cemeteries out because that's actually the most beautiful place. Look at this abandoned house. Oh, I thought it was abandoned. Never mind, it's not abandoned. And for some reason, the mountains that I've seen here look a lot prettier than what I see in Puerto Rico. Maybe because I didn't get to see much, but it looks really, really beautiful since I've been out here. So apparently here is actually $5 a gallon, which is a lot more than Florida. Um, it's more expensive to have gas here. Um, the mountain in the back. Oh my God. So these guys are taxi. They're taxi Ubers and they're a lot cheaper than a regular taxi. You just hop on a bike and they take you wherever your heart desires. I'm not going to lie, but I still feel like I'm in uh, Peru. These guys, they'll just throw water on your, your windshield. Sometimes they ask for it, sometimes they don't, but I don't know how it is over here. I guess the first place they bring me is right into a gift shop. More stores. I know, that's why I wanted to get out of here. This is all, you know they pay these guys off, right? Oh yeah. So usually that's what they do. They send us to these gift shop areas and uh, they pay off the people at the gift shop to say that they got more people coming in. Yeah. I'm able to visit some friends. But this is a gift shop that's further away from the ship and they seem to have the same thing that I've seen in Peru where they have very graphic toys here. I don't know, move past this. Maybe I shouldn't show that. Pretty much they show their, you know, male reproductive systems and uh, they kind of embrace it. But according to YouTube standards, you get in trouble for showing that. As far as the temperature, the temperature is actually perfect. It's not too hot. It's, it's warm, but not too hot. And uh, some people in the comments told me to check out the leather stuff. You gotta be careful because some leather like this is really like raw hide. Leather, really hard. I don't like this kind of leather. I like, I can't say authentic leather or genuine leather, that's not a thing. It's full grain leather. Like that's leather is my favorite type of leather. See my dad there in the background just slowly making his way over here. Look at that. There he is. <laughs> this is genuine the Dominican Republic Maracas. My grandmother, actually my grandpa, used to play this when I was in when I was a little kid. This was the thing. Kind of works something like this. I'm gonna show it to you. I'll take it, and then they'll kind of do that with music and stuff. Hey, check this out. I don't even know what this is. Okay, I get it. You see that? That's that's his. Uh... Hey, Dad, check this out. You gotta. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I should buy that for my boss. From un Africano. <laughs> <laughs> So right now I'm heading towards an area where you see a whole bunch of umbrellas. It almost looks like a European type of style, but it's different. It's 
right here if I make this left. Gracias. Look at this place. Isn't that beautiful? They just got a whole bunch of little umbrellas everywhere. I want to apologize because while I'm doing this video, um, I'm probably going to have people screaming left and right. The thing is, it's my mom's birthday and I don't want to really do a vlog on my mom's birthday, but at the same time, I also want to vlog this because it's an interesting experience and I kind of want my mom to see this, in the, you know, in the future. So yeah, that's kind of why I'm doing this. But if you hear people yelling a lot, it's because I, she got a tour guide, which is pretty much taking us to the whole tour for the, you know how it is, the American tour. So you're going to have a lot of people trying to sell you stuff and a lot of people talking left and right. When I get that, amigo. No, 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 está bien. <laughs> Gracias. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do now is just kind of filming the town so I see how the town is. And I just realized that this beautiful beast that they call my brother is right there. Look at that beautiful face. As he wanders off into the distance looking for love. And that butt. <laughs> I can't believe that's my brother. <laughs> so I've made it to an area where literally everything is pink. There's, oh look, a monkey! I always wanted to see a monkey. I'm not even a lie, I always did want to see a monkey. You know how far I went in Peru to find a monkey? Look at him! <laughs> how did you like the monkey? I love the monkey. Wasn't the monkey so cute? Didn't you want to like sell the dog and buy monkey? I wanted to get that monkey home with me. No, I want to get rid of my doggy. No. Well, when the dog's gone, you want to get the monkey? I can't get a monkey. Why not? We can't have a monkey in the I think house. we should have one no, monkey. No, 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 no. How did you feel with the monkey? I always wanted one. He did always you? Wanted one, yeah. Always wanted a monkey. You always wanted she a monkey? She said they sell them out here too. Monkeys? Yeah, they sell monkeys out here. We can't have a monkey. Though. No, we can't have a monkey, but you know, she did say that they sell them out here. Why can't we have one? Oh, because mommy said no. No, and it's, people don't have monkeys. Nah, I think it's a lot of maintenance. A lot of maintenance? I don't think it's supposed to. Well, we can't take them to the ship. Yeah, either. I don't think it's supposed to. Are you recording us? <laughs> you just, now you notice that? <laughs> I've been having this in your face the whole time. So, this is a Dominican piña colada. Marcos, what do you think of this if you're watching? Yeah, yeah, you gotta Look at the size of this. Yeah, I'm going to send you everything. I just got to figure out how this works. So either one, this is going to send me to the bathroom or it's going to taste really good. Okay, that's ice. It actually tastes amazing. Okay, so the heat is not as unbearable as Puerto Rico. Here it's a little bit more breezy and cool and relaxed, which I like a lot. My family seems to be looking at some paintings, so I'm enjoying the quiet time to be able to talk to you guys. And there goes my quiet time. <laughs> that bird almost hit me. So I want to be able to check out a nearby graveyard that I don't even know how it's going to look. I hope it looks creepy. I, I, I like things that look historic and maybe a little bit of desecration so I can see what's inside. That's about it. But that's what I'm trying to check out right after I first check out the church. So this is the church that I wanted to explore. Look at the size of this thing. Hopefully it's nice on the inside. I'm thinking of something kind of like what I've seen in South America. Hopefully it's somewhat the same. So this is Saint Felipe. Remember we always see these saints in different countries? This is Saint Felipe. And that's Jesus. His arm looked like it's coming off. Wow. So this is a beautiful church. It actually looks nice. I'm not going to lie. It reminds me of a Puerto Rican kind of church. It just has that open window. Not too serious like Peru. Peru, you go into a church, everything is super serious. Like this is the time to be serious. Here it's just kind of like you come and do your prayer. I don't know. It feels kind of comfortable. 
but unfortunately no catacombs. So right now I'm on my way to the cemetery and before I get there, there's a guy named Eduardo Borito, I think, Eduardo Borito. And this is his picture right over here. So if you look right up there at this guy in the background that's covered with the light, see if I can get a nice shot at it. Right there, that guy right there in blue. His body's actually buried in the cemetery. Maybe I get to see it, maybe not. Not his body, but his like tomb area. Not really sure how that's gonna turn out, but let me put my phone away before a guy in a scooter shows up and just grabs my stuff. But that's where I'm heading right now, waiting for the bus to arrive so they can take me over there. See you there. So I've now made it to the cemetery. And you can see there's been a lot of famous artists that passed away and that's buried here within the town of Dominican Republic. Oh no! Don't give me this! Memento homo fiera pelvises. Etas how? This is a cemetery. But hopefully I could get access in here. I just wanted to walk through here. Wow, no, that's the same guy's picture that I told you guys about not too long ago. And this is security. She's knocked out. So right now I'm gonna see if I can break up from the group. Oh, look at this. This is what I'm talking about, you see? I think this is just somebody's food that they just threw out here. I thought that was for a minute. Might have been some sort of rich craft stuff. But because I'm in the Caribbean, the Caribbean's area is bound to have some brujeria through it. I'm pretty sure of it. Look at this. Check this out. Those eyes are pretty creepy. It's funny because my tour guide is looking at me thinking I'm sorts of crazy for going through here, but he doesn't realize that there's a lot of hidden stuff through here. It's the beauty behind the darkness that the majority of people never really see. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. But this is very much different than the Peru graveyards or the South American graveyards. This looks like, you see how they're all crooked and lopsided because we're like on a mountain? This actually looks more of a Puerto Rican, Dominican, kind of Caribbean-esque point of view of this whole thing. What's that back there? I see some sort of barrels or some sort of can. Marcos was not lying. He always tells me to check out the graveyards here. I see some bottles. Sometimes they use this big tombs here and they use it as a closet to carry bottles and stuff and cleaning stuff when they're working in the cemetery. Seen it all the time. See what's inside this little crevice in here, kind of hidden away. <clears throat> and it's interesting because I still yet to find anything with brujeria. I don't know if that's something to do with it right down in there. See a little bucket? But that could be anything, unless I get over there. It just looks more vegetated. Oh yeah, all this is completely vegetated. I'm not sure how much I could do with this, because now the sun is starting to pound on me. I wish it was like some cloudy weather. But there's nothing, nothing out here. Oh shit, I just fell in a tomb. Let's get out of here. It's so weird, every time I'm walking, I can feel the ground have like these random holes in the ground that makes you wanna sink in. Ooh. Okay, now I smell it. Oh God, if you look in here, you can see a whole bunch of flies. Go ahead and record it, see the flies? It smells like pure decay here. I just smelt it right when I passed by it too. That's pretty strong and foul. See that? Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Okay, so this for sure, I don't know what this is actually. I just kind of saw that standing upright. 
For a minute I thought it was some brew head. Yeah, there's something blue in it. But I don't know what that is. I see the same kind of blue stuff here. It could just be some weird formation or something. So I want to see if uh, this guy could show me where that famous singer guy that I showed you earlier passed, uh, passed on. He was pointing out his tomb and I wanted to go my own little route just to kind of explore. I like to explore alone through these areas. Oh, look at this. This looks like a desecration. Uh, damn it. Just I have my family way up there calling me over telling me to check something out. Okay, so apparently nothing unusual happened. I thought they were going to show me something interesting. But no, they're saying that I have to go that this tour is on a time limit. So I'm like, all right, now it's time to go. I got to see a little bit of the graveyard. And it's time to go. See, I said, you get a bit of This is the cemetery of kids. This is where all the children are buried at. Look at this. Wow, so I didn't even see this. See? So I hate being rushed because I wanted to see this. This is the singer guy, the picture that I showed you. Oh, look at this. Someone just died there. Look at this. That's his tomb. I'm sorry, but it is so hot right now. Woo! Un calor del diablo. Parecía como alguien se murió aquí. Ah, mira este. Rafael Jacobo. Ah, there's another famous person that passed away here. See if you guys recognize him. Oh, he was, he looks military, I think. Somebody was just freshly buried over here. Okay, vamos. Listo. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching Franco Travels. I hope you enjoyed this kind of like a little bit of a sneak peek how my adventures was going while being on a vacation with the family which is awesome my mom dad grandma they're all doing good let's see if I can probably head back up and kind of watch the sunrise and then probably take a little bit of a nap or a shower because I'm already feeling a bit moist that being said I will see you guys in the next glorious adventure because God knows I have some cool stuff coming up till then I will see you guys in the next video Bye guys!